Welcome to Mary Heat and What's Next. Today we're going to make espresso. We're going to make espresso using the DeLonghi Magnifica. Uh, it's a super automated machine. And we're going to try and make it using a regular coffee pot from Italy that we call a mocha. Now, if it has the little person on it, it's a Bialetti, I'm going to guarantee you that it's a really good one. So these are very easy to use. Don't let them intimidate you. In the bottom part, you fill them with water and you put the filter on and you want that water just to come out just a little bit over. Now if you want the coffee stronger, you're not going to have that little bit of overfill. Then I'm going to take already ground espresso and I'm going to fill this. And obviously you can make both decaf or regular. Um, this is a larger pot. It's a, a six cup. And yes, it does make six cups of espresso because espressos are quite a bit smaller. Um, now, Italians are very, very obsessed with their coffee. And some of them are going to tell you you need to fill it more, fill it less, push it down or not. Ultimately, you experiment and decide where you want to go. This is the top part. I'm going to put this on. And... This little ring I got on Amazon, so if your gas rack here is too big and it falls through, it helps to keep it on. You want to put it on a low grade, make sure that the handle doesn't uh, melt or anything. And then we're going to leave that on and ultimately you'll bubble over the top. So now what I'm going to show you is the difference between that and the automated. This will set you back the pot about $40. Automated. Um, you're looking at about a twelve hundred dollar here. So in the back part here, can you um, show? This is where you put your ground coffee. So you put in fresh coffee beans, and one of my favorite to use is actually Illy. But whatever you use, make sure that you're using a bean that works in a um, for this type of coffee machine. So no oil or anything on them. It has to be adapted for that. Now these are very easy to use. You hit the on button and always keep a little spare cup down here or something because it does tend to spit out some water in the beginning. If there's no cup, not a problem. It has a small bit reservoir in the back. So while that's heating up, I'm going to show you that it actually even has a function for hot water for tea if you need it. But in this case, I'm going to put on the little um, espresso machine thing here, not the cappuccino, I'm sorry. So I can show you how it makes cappuccino and lattes just as easily. So that's the hot water it lets out in the beginning. You could also keep the cups up here. It does warm up if you leave it on, so it kind of warms the cup for you. Throw that out. Now from here, I'm going to select the size of bean that I want. That's if you want it to be a little bit um, lighter or the strongest is there. I'm going to go with the one in the middle. Now that cup is an espresso. You're going to get an espresso size, which is a pretty small shot. If you move it up, that's going to be a lungo. What a lungo means is that it's the same amount of espresso beans, but you get more water, and you could stop that at any point to measure the amount you want. This will give you an Americano, a regular cup of coffee. Um, you're going to get about six ounces from that. Uh, you could still use the espresso beans on it very good. Here where you see the coffee with a little bit of um, froth on top, that's the cappuccino. Cappuccino is more espresso, less coffee. And that's the latte. A latte is more milk, less espresso. So let us start with an espresso. Put it there. I'm going to get the brew.
Oh, if you could only smell that, look at that. Beautiful cup of espresso with the froth and everything on that in no time. And mocha is still working on coming up. Now I've decided, okay, let's make a latte. So here I am on the latte. I have my milk frother in. I have the dial pulled to froth. And I'm gonna hit brew. And we're gonna make sure that it all goes into the cup. That's the grinding of fresh beans again. There's my warm frothed milk. And it's, it's actually quite hot when it comes out. I'm holding it out a little bit so that you could see what's going on. You'll see it's more milk. And now I'm gonna get my shot of espresso on that. Now I'm gonna show you how you can get really fancy with this as well, where you could actually put little chocolate shavings on top of it and some whipped cream. And the barista at Starbucks has nothing on us. Um, obviously I have both machines. I absolutely love this one. It makes a wonderful cup of coffee. There's a high level of pressure that's pushing it out. It comes out really hot. Um, it's fresh ground beans. You can't beat it. But that mocha for the price that it is, also a great choice. Here it is. Cappuccino and espresso. And again, I don't have any chocolate shavings, but you got a couple chocolate shavings to put on that. Not only will you impress yourself, but you'll impress anybody that comes over for a coffee. Now, if somebody wants a decaf or you want to put in your own flavor, you could actually, in this little spot here, put in a teaspoon and it brews one teaspoon at a time of any ground coffee that you choose that you want to use. Now, I am still waiting for my mocha to come up here, which should come up in just a moment. So what I'm gonna do is pause the video and shoot back in what that's coming up and show you what it looks like. Oh, here it is, it's coming out. Now in Italy, they actually sell a little device that you can put on top of that that's like an aerator. You could also put a spoon like that to keep it from bouncing out. But I'm gonna let you see what it looks like as it comes out. Now, interesting enough, the first part of the coffee that comes out will always be the strongest. So you wanna wait till all of it pours so you have a consistent flavor in it. And again, this is the little mocha pot. Loved it, I've used this, I've probably been using these for over 40 years. Um, never had a bad coffee. But um, again, there's, there is a difference between the two machines. You got four star here and I would say a five star with the DeLonghi Magnifica and customer service on that. I'm telling you, you call that customer service line, there is no hold music. A representative from Italy actually immediately picks up. They definitely knew their priorities. At least that was my experience with it and I couldn't be more happy with that machine. There it is and you could see how it's coming up. And in about one minute, I will have a perfect cup of espresso. Um, I'm gonna use this part, actually. I'm putting it in a container with a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna freeze it and have iced coffee um, for the trip. Uh, we're gonna be going on a short road trip and it's nice to have some iced espresso to keep you awake and keep you happy. And um, very important, drinking espresso, drinking cappuccino, you've got to have the right cups. Do not drink an espresso out of a paper cup. It's an insult. Uh, if you enjoyed my channel, if you enjoyed what we're talking about today, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you soon. And pretty soon you'll be seeing some videos from Italy and Italian food as well. Thank you.